Hightower was always so prickly. Handling WPK's finances was a huge task when we had revenue. Maybe we should consider putting the building on the market. Downsizing. What kind of statement would that make? Dad. Sweetie, please stop taking the stress on yourself. I'm fine. I'm just not sleeping or hungry. There's just a lot of life changes ahead, you know? Yes, I have a feeling I do know. Maggie Decker just received an offer from Posner and Klein. A substantial one. We have to match it. Eli, we can't afford to. And besides, Maggie's the last person who's going to go work for them. That's not true. She'll leave. I know it. Eli, I understand you have a special affection for Miss Decker. Why does everyone keep saying that? You're kidding, right? She's a friend. A platonic one. She believed in me before anyone else did. I realize that, but we haven't matched Posner's salary offer for any other associate. Well, if we want to keep them... You're a partner now, Eli. You've got to start thinking like one, which means not allowing sentiment to cloud your judgment. It means worrying about how we fund our quarterly contributions to the Associates Health Insurance Plan. How we keep our offices lit and warm this winter amidst skyrocketing electric bills. But if you truly think Maggie's presence at our firm justifies treating her differently than all the other associates and placing our obligations to them at greater risk, it's your call. We brought you a plate. Sushi. Oh, no thanks. Lovely brie. Okay. Champagne? <laughs> How about this Emmental? Mmm. <sighs> Have you tasted this? Come on. You're pregnant. I knew it. Your mother had a thing for Emmental and she was pregnant too. Okay, Columbo, you got me. Please don't say anything to anyone. Matt doesn't even know. Of course not. That's complicated. I understand. You could have told me, though. I'm sorry. How are you feeling? Pretty overwhelmed, to be honest. It's a lot to think about, a baby. I never really saw myself as a mother. I'm not sure I do now. I see, so... You might not be keeping it. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, Dad. I mean, things with Matt and I are good, but we're not exactly serious. <laughs> Can I raise a baby on my own? I mean, would I even want to? Sweetie, the decision is yours, of course. But just so you know, you are never alone. Thanks, Dad. Well, I don't understand. Falling down on bended lips. Just the man I was looking for. I trust it wasn't too difficult to find me. Our ranks are considerably thinned. Thinned. But strengthened. Certainly there are plenty of empty offices now if you want to move out of the library. Oh, thank you, sir, but uh, I think I'll stay. Sentimental reasons, you know? That I do. What's up? New cases, new clients. I was just bringing it by your office. But we could start fresh tomorrow, if you like. No, no, now would be fine. But first, there was something I wanted to give you. To new beginnings. Partner. New beginnings. <laughs>